Greetings and welcome to the Sports Card Ripping Teacher. Normally, Friday morning, I will put on a country music playlist and just kind of put up a little bit louder than normal, kind of enjoy my morning. But today, I went back and I watched Zach's Sports Cards and Collections. I watched, rewatched his live yesterday. Um, Hammy was on there, Son was on there for a little bit, but an outstanding conversation. And if you did not watch it yesterday, I would definitely go back and watch it today. Just, you know, having a good time with each other, being real with each other as well. And as I tell, you know, my own kids, students I teach, it's okay to have feelings. You know, it's okay to, to be sad, to be mad about something, but, you know, know that you can have people to talk to as well. And really, I probably should have went back and watched Zach, the other half of Zach Square. I should have watched his premiere again because he ate some gum some old gum, some old Irish gum. Now, some Irish things do age well. Gum is not one of them. All right, today is Friday, August 23rd, lesson number eight. And today it goes out to the hawk, Andre Dawson. Now, you've heard me tell a few Andre Dawson stories. Uh, Greg Maddox in the hot tub, the donation to the blind after Andre got thrown out of the game, and the blank check he gave to Dallas Green. But today I'm back with another TTM. Now, Andre does cost um, $10, and it seems like you know every month or so or a couple of months he will sit down, do his TTMs, and send them out. But hey, he's a Hall of Famer. 10 bucks. I mean, I could buy a blaster of whatever for... 25 to 40 dollars and get nothing like a hall of fame autograph so here's some help maybe so we've got some time before school's done what do you think would look better on a ttm now i love these chrome cards but i'm not quite sure how they do with uh ttms and sharpies having them dry i know you no know, players will sign them put them in packs but I'm not sure what people's experiences are with uh, TTMs. I did send out an older scorecard to him um, a couple years ago. Got that returned. It looks outstanding. Or I have these two cards here. Both of them look aw awesome. I'm leaning towards this Gypsy Queen right over here. I do like this Fleer, but kind of with some white corners there. And, you know, not that that matters, but, you know, but look at the Hawk's eyes on that card right there. And, whoo, I love that one. But I do love him in the outfield right here. He had a cannon for an arm. Now, it's also, or it would have been, Kobe Bryant's birthday. And I was listening to uh, Adam's Card Closet this morning. think he's having a special show um, over the weekend that'll go over that. I think that's what I heard. I was walking the dog. So sometimes Riggins kind of gets me off track there. But uh, do go and check out Adam's channel as well. And back in 2010... It was the last stand for Lou Pinella. Lou Pinella did retire, and I enjoyed Lou. He was always entertaining during the post-game uh, press conferences. And here's a couple things that I found that he said. I cursed him in English, and he threw me out in Spanish. He did not say what umpire that was, but Lou had a lot of ejections. Um, see where it's, oh, I'm not really a Facebook and Twitter guy. I'm a prime rib and baked potato guy. Me too. And uh, see what else we got here. One more. Oh, I won over 1,800 games in a manager as a manager. And I can tell you I'm not a darn dummy. I can tell you that for sure. So Lou is always one of my favorites. Uh, oh, one more. Look. And Lou always said before he started talking, he'd say, look. And then he would start talking. But say, uh, you could bring a live goat here and put it in the dugout. And it wouldn't bother me. Oh, Lord. I shouldn't have said that. Scratch that. Let's get to some cards. So normally, I'll start by saying we've made it to the moment of truth. But this has been a fun week on the channel. I had an opening with Graham. I had an opening, a pack battle with Jax. I had my parents on here going over my first Cubs game. Shelly was the only one that did not make an appearance. So... Whatever we get today is what we get. And really, that's the case all the time. But let's see if we can get it downtown. I have been, or I did uh, receive a message. It does look like, man, I've got so many DJ Moores. Uh, the print run in these, whatever ones they sent to the Chicago land area, uh, DJ Moore was in a lot of them. I actually have a couple of them to the side to send to people, but 
We'll put this one in the student pile. But it looks like the Fantasy Rip League is going to be going on. So I said, hey, I'll, I'll do it. Waiting to see how many people are going to be in it. If it's a go or not, but I'll definitely do it. But I've been thinking of another contest as well. And I think if I go through with it, I'll announce that on Monday. Jaron Hall... Um, I you know, really don't pay attention to much Viking stuff. I do hope he's going to be the starter now. I got a nice RPA of his from last year. Taysom Hill on the silver. Tyler Lockett. Let's do a score of treat here in the middle. I mean, these have been a lot of fun so far. And um, I believe it is two 300-card sets. Uh, Graham's got his binders out, putting them in there. Micah Hyde. Spencer Rattler and Nick Chubb. I saw um, Random Rips. He was talking about some Nick Chubb stuff on Zach's channel yesterday. So I'm not aware of that. So I'm going to have to go and uh, look it up. I always like finding out, you know, neat little things about players. All right. Last chance of the week. Jamal Charles. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Here we go. This has been a fantastic week of cards we got a downtown a pack battle with myself and jacks graham and i opened cards my parents were on the channel and look what we got oh man this is beautiful jalen hurts i mean too bad he's gonna lose against the packers in week one but i mean that's a beauty folks that is a beautiful card oh Downtown number two. Downtown number two. We got it. And, you know, shout out to all those people that were saying, oh, just buy one. Just buy one. Yeah, that would have been the smart thing to do. But the fun thing to do is get them in the packs. So really, buy singles. It's the way to go. But it's fun to open things in packs. Class is dismissed.